Hello, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the last recipe and gave it a go. Today we're going to be looking at char-grilled kangaroo loin on a spinach spatzli and mushroom sauce. For this particular recipe we're going to be using the long fillet cut from the loin set. Season your product very well and ensure that your char griller is quite hot and well preheated. Place it across the bars. This will ensure that you get some nice marks onto your meat and it will aid in the presentation of the product later when we go to carve it. The loin fillet is used for this because it is a tenderer cut of meat and it is quickly cooked. Again, we're looking to possibly serve this product no more than medium rare due to the nature of where the meat is cut from. You need to seal the kangaroo loin on the hot grill for around about three to four minutes, depending on the thickness of the loin. Then turn it over onto the other side and rotate it round so as the product seals all the way through. This particular process should take around about seven minutes. You need to test the product by touching it and testing the tenderness of it. Once you are happy with the tenderness of the product and it's not too firm, place it onto a separate plate and allow it to rest. This is very important in the process. Resting of kangaroo meat allows the juices to relax back into the meat, rather than if you cut it straight away, the juices will simply be pushed out of the meat. For this particular recipe, we're going to add to it some spinach spatzli. Spatzli is a peasant style of pasta. It's basically made with flour and eggs and nutmeg, and we've added some spinach puree into it to give it a little bit of colour. It's cooked very similar to pasta. The recipe details are in the CD-ROM. And in this particular recipe, we've added it also with some lardons of bacon. Dress the meat directly over your spatzli mound. Surround this in a mushroom sauce, which is made from meat jus and sauteed mushrooms blended with a little bit of cream. So thanks for your participation and I'll see you in the next kangaroo cookery class.